came here in 1989 uh -huh. from El Salvador, having traveled and worked in the airlines for many years um, and developed an interest in art and craft from the countries that I visited around the world. So when I came to Belize, there was very little happening. There were only about six artists in the country. So I started the gallery, it was very small, and it was the first gallery in San Pedro. Um, it was only 16 feet square, and um, there were few people coming here in those days. Um, but I had a great love of naive art, so there was some interesting things happening. Um, I worked a lot with Nelson Young, who was from Key Corker. Um, he was actually living in a tree in Key Corker in those <laughs> days. Um, and he would paint and leave all his paintings hanging from the tree limbs. Um, most of the artists are self-taught. Yeah, they didn't get any formal training. So that is quite interesting and I found that fascinating coming from Europe and having lived in the States where everybody's so trained and it was interesting to see what people came up with with down here with very little exposure to the outside world in those days. Um, barely nothing because of course we didn't have internet and TV was new here. So um, yeah it was another world. But then the art scene grew because there seemed to be a whole influx of young artists painting. Everybody has a different story. So Jerry, tell me, how did the gallery get started? Well, we started, uh, it was basically just a hammock store when we uh, started. I, I bought a hammock shop, I had a few trinkets, and then over the years we've just gradually brought in more and more art. Uh, we have a unique way of displaying it because of uh, the quantity we have. We don't have room. We have over a thousand uh, original paintings, so uh, we hang them just like this, and so you can shop just like shopping for clothes, so you can pull a piece out to look at it and put it back in, but it allows us, we keep them just the raw canvas because 90% of our customers are tourists, so this way we can just roll them up, put them in a tube, and we can ship them. So that, that allows us to, you know, move fairly quickly. We don't have to take them off frames. We do have an assortment on frames as well, but uh, uh, it allows a, a, a simple way to shop in a small space. It's hard to find a large space here in Belize. Sure. So. Yeah. Colors are typically fairly bright, um, although they really do run the gamut. There are some, um, you know, I have one pastel painting in here. There, there are some that are toned down, you know, a little bit that have the softer colors, uh, you know, uh, but uh, the majority are fairly bold and, and bright, and that's, but that's what people like about Caribbean art, you know. Okay. So it's a, you know, there, and they, there's, there's several that do uh, just the palette knife uh, work like, like this, and, uh, you know, there's a, uh, 
Uh, they do, you know, all styles, jungles, underwater. You know, this is just one artist here we're looking at. This is Leo Vasquez. He mainly does uh, palette knife. A uh, little, you know, but he does. He's very talented, very prolific. Does a lots of different styles of art. Um, you know, we have uh, Luna, who does a sort of a fantasy uh, style art. You know, they're very. Uh, you, you kind of smile when you look at them. They're just people having fun. It's a very unique style, and this is it almost. He does this almost exclusively. You know, it's always Mayan. Mayan gods or Mayan deities. From stone art, this is a. I like this one because it's a, a Mayan god that many of us worship. This is the god Ishkakao, the god of chocolate. I started off doing basically Garafina things. With, okay. And I did a few a few books, one on the Garafina and one on the Maya. Ah. Marvelous. Here. I didn't do the text, I just did the illustrations. Uh-huh. Um I like the community. You know everybody here. Um, and everybody knows you and people are friendly. I try to look for the artists that are a little bit under the radar because basically they're less expensive. <laughs> okay. You know, sure. and, and I'm not sure if this is like a art gallery or a souvenir shop because people who come in here to buy art are actually buying it as a souvenir. So you can't charge fine art prices if you want to stay in that market. Understood. And this is a backpackers island, so we try to stay in the souvenir, even though it is art. There's no reason why art can't be a souvenir. 